If you are an Elon Musk fan, then you shouldn't watch this video. One line summary of this entire video is after Grok 3 launch, my respect for DeepSeek R1 has multifolded. Today, Elon Musk and XAI launched Grok 3, their new flagship large language model. Despite Elon Musk being the flag bearer of open source and always complaining that OpenAI has not open sourced anything, Grok 3 very surprisingly is not open source. Grok 3 is an open source. In fact, Grok 3 mini is an open source until today and there is no information about whether they would open source it today or not. There are speculations that Grok 2 might be open source but not Grok 3. Now, if you were to see Grok 3 in terms of pure benchmarks, this is a good model. This is not a bad model. And in fact, this is one of the best functioning state of the art model at this particular point. In terms of benchmarks, Grok 3 is a really good model. The model scores really on the top line of the benchmark. You can see multiple benchmarks, independent benchmarks, math, AIME, GPQA, coding, all these tasks, Grok3 scores much higher than the existing competition. The only problem with these kind of comparison is you never know which version of GPT-4 they compared. For example, ChatGPT released an update couple of days back and maybe this update is not included in this. Despite all these things, you can see Grok3, the non-reasoning model scoring really good. This is ideally supposed to be a really good model. You can see that across all the benchmarks that the company itself has shared, you can see Grok3 is just right next to O3, above O1, above DeepSeek R1. And the non-thinking model, non-reasoning model, Grok3 is the best non-reasoning model. And in terms of chatbot arena, you can go play with the model. The model was available as something called chocolate. So chocolate is the best model. It has scored one across all the points like um, coding, this language and all the other points grok 3 is the best model and it is the first model to crack the arena score of 1400 and again like the confidence interval like it at a 95 percent ci it's plus or minus seven because it's a new model but what is very surprising and interesting for me to see is that how are companies getting really great score at uh, let's say the arena leaderboard but when you talk to somebody it is not that model is something that people use in everyday uh, function or it is not something that developers prefer. I think we have to wait and see for a Grok 3 APA to be available, which I think will be available in a couple of few weeks. Honestly, like for me, like Grok 3 is another LLM. That's it. I'm, I'm just going to treat it as it is. It is not making anything special. It's not my chat GPT moment of AI. It's not my deep seek moment of open source reasoning models. It's not even what O1 did to the market where everybody is behind reasoning models. It is not Claude 3.5 Sonnet, like for example, there is this uh, test that everybody's been using, Theo, a very popular YouTuber used this. And uh, yeah, so you can see like Grok 3, the ball actually bounces off, which was very similar to what we did with an 8 billion parameter model. So we definitely have to wait and see how good Grok 3 is going to be about coding because all these benchmarks, these models seem to be doing good, a much better job. But when it comes to real world tasks, we have seen these models crumbling again and again, not living up to, let's say, uh, Claude 3.5 Sonnet or Deep Sea Cow 1. So let's wait and see. And in terms of the Grok 3 vibe test, people have already started comparing, like for example, Andre Karpati, who has been ex Tesla AI director, got early access to Grok 3. And then he has mentioned in his vibe check, the Grok 3 is a really good model. There are a lot of things that Grok 3 does. There are some mundane questions. Grok 3 doesn't do a very good job. For example, there are only three L's in Lollapalooza, but there are four L's in this particular thing because LLMs use the word that is from their memory rather than what you gave in context and then gives this answer. But all these problems like 9.11 greater than 9.9, .9, all these problems get solved once you turn on thinking. That is the thinking model that Grok 3 comes with. So there are four different models available. One is a Grok 3. The second one is Grok 3 Mini. And then the third one is the Grok 3 Reasoning Beta. And the fourth one is Grok 3 Mini Reasoning. So if you see all these models, you would see Grok 3 does a pretty good job. Only because a XAI team in this particular case decided not to include O3 model. So if you include O3, O3 is definitely the best reasoning model at this particular point. The red one, the Twitter user Rex managed to add this for us. So if you see the reasoning plus test time compute model, O3 is really the best model, best functioning model at this particular point. And um, if you leave O3 out, then Grok3 reasoning beta. Grok3 reasoning mini are good models, better than O1 or some cases like on par with O1, but definitely better than DeepSeek R1 in this particular case. 
and much 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 better than gemini 2 flash thinking now you would see that this is a great model like why did i say that this video is not for elon musk fans the reason I said this one, of course, obviously that Grok 3 is a really great innovation. The model is good. The team is not very old. The research lab is not like OpenAI been functioning for like over uh, many years. It's like two years old, three years old. But the biggest problem is Elon Musk doesn't seem to stand for whatever he says. He has a problem with AI advancing and then destroying humanity. No, uh, now, you know, he doesn't do anything about it. Like he, he releases another large language model. The next thing is, if you have seen the live stream of XAI, the, it, the, the background says that our mission is to understand the universe. I mean, what part of Grok 3 is to understand universe? The same complaint, uh, whether you are advancing humanity, you're cracking AGI, whatever that you want to say as a Silicon Valley founder, Elon Musk, once again, like what, what, what is Grok3 trying to make understanding universe? It is not like what Google DeepMind is doing with respect to alpha fold, the alpha geometry, whatever the model that they're doing to unlock different aspects of biology, understanding physics, chemistry. This is just another large language model. Everybody's making a large language model. In fact, some random HFT like high frequency trading or quant from China managed to create DeepSeek R1, not with the level of support that these guys have got. Elon Musk says that they trained this Grok 3 using 200,000 equivalent of H100, which is like a super, super, super GPU cluster. I think it's called Colossus. It was, it was like gifted by Nvidia exclusive agreement. While China, on the other hand, has got a lot of GPU sanctions and they've managed to make DeepSeek R1. Not just they've managed to make DeepSeek R1, they open source DeepSeek V3, they've open source DeepSeek R1. They have shared how they trained DeepSeek R1. They shared how they trained DeepSeek V3. Meanwhile, these companies, especially the, the one that is trying to understand the universe and then flag bearer of open source, has not even released a technical paper until now since the model has been released. And top of that, the model is available only for X Premium Plus subscriber. So maybe it would come to premium, maybe it would not come to premium, maybe Grok3 Mini would come. So my biggest problem is like all these US companies hyping up their models and ultimately not living up to not the model, not the value, not the mission, not the principle. Despite all these Elon Musk rant, massive respect to XAI team. Uh, I know Elon Musk is the boss of them, but massive respect to them for uh, creating something, pushing out. I know it's very hard. The grinding, but I saw a couple of tweets where the team has uh, stayed awake for days to create this model. I think Grok3 as a model was uh, pre-trained in early January. So they have done the fine tuning, they've done the post training, all these things in just a one of month and then release the model. I think it's, it's a massive, massive thing. So huge kudos to the team. Uh, I guess the team has got a really good potential. You can see a lot of great engineers there, but whether they would become the leading research lab or are they even trying to become the leading research lab? What are they doing to understand the universe? These are questions to be answered. Despite all the hype that Elon Musk is bringing up, I don't think Grok3 lives up to the hype of whatever we thought like the model is going to be extraordinarily out of the world. This is another leading model, another state of the art model just for today. And I'm going to wait counting my days when somebody is going to beat this model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.